We want to welcome you to another episode of the Biblical Resolutions Podcast, brought to you by the House of Jacob Bible Study Class, located at 2515 East 75th Street in Chicago, Illinois. And we want to remind the listeners to please follow the Biblical Resolutions Podcast by going to our podcast page, which can be found at hojbible.podbean.com. You can also follow the Biblical Resolutions Podcast by going to the House of Jacob Bible Study Class's main website, which is thehouseofjacob.org. And uh, we want to welcome you and thank you for tuning in with us as always. And uh, today we are bringing you episode number 58. And the title of episode number 58 is we have lost sight of judgment Mm -hmm. you know punishment and reward um and we have brother ahisamak on this episode brother excuse me i paused a minute my uh my brain had to catch up with my mouth man Uh, yeah i feel you bro you know what i'm saying we we get no brain parts brother i understand uh but yeah brother you know uh you know, we don't lost sight of sight of judgment mm-hmm. because, you know, the judgment of the Lord, man, the Lord tell you that, hey, man, his his people don't don't know his judgment. Yeah, because, you know, they rejected it yep. and the world has rejected the judgment of God yes, and, sir. and righteous judgment. Yes, sir. And the book tells you God is a guy. So he's a God of judgment. Yep. It says he loveth judgment. You yes, know what sir. I mean? So yes, this this is something, man, that the Lord holds in high regard. Righteous judgment. Yep. You know, that's why he set up judges before he uh before he was gonna let Israel pass into the land. Look, he he told them, man, look, you set up judges, the ones that hate covetousness. Yep. And hey man, they gon' they gonna judge these matters. Yep. And um this was designed, man, so the people could be on one accord. And if you had a righteous judge, then hey, man, the righteous was gonna get the the reward of the righteous. Yes, sir. And the one who was wrong or the one who was wicked, hey, man, they was gonna get a wicked man reward. Yes, sir. But of course, you know the world don't flip that around. Yeah. And you know, and and yeah. the ones who righteous, man, they get it. Seems like they 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 get the short end of the stick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the wicked seem like they prosper because they being wicked is is you know profitable uh in a lot of ways you know in, in this world in this system that we in you know so uh but being that we don't lost sight of judgment the the wickedness and sin and all this stuff is just rampant and um because I nobody even consider that it's gonna be consequences man you know what I'm saying? To whether you doing right or you doing you doing contrary to what's right. You know, judgment say, man, you you got a reward coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh yes, sir. You know, nobody wanna talk about that. Definitely no don't nobody want to talk about their reward that's coming for doing contrary. Yes, sir. Cause yes, sir. uh hey man, that ain't pleasing, it ain't pleasing to the ears to hear that. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. uh but and, but you know yeah go ahead brother go ahead but but you know what man this these are the things that um you know we need to put out there that you know man that judgment coming that nobody gets away they just getting by right like when you realize that you like okay because I always used to ask myself man like who gonna write all these wrongs. Who right. gonna write all these wrongs, bro? It's a lot of wrongs to be right, but I know Jesus coming with it. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? I know that he, like you said earlier, he set up was supposed to have set up in the land righteous judge, just judge people that right. didn't take no bribes, right. didn't have no bias. All they right. seen was good, right, and wickedness. You supposed to judge all these matters. You supposed right. to be able to keep peace in the land keep, keep order keep order keep yep. views down all yep. this stuff was supposed to see that this is the way life is supposed to be how it's supposed to operate and we're gonna do them but spread out right we're gonna do number then in your mind it's gonna stop you from doing stuff that's sketchy right 
It's going right. to have you deal fair and just with your neighbor, your brother, the stranger. It was going to do all this stuff. But right. we lost sight of that. We lost sight of that early on Right. in the walk towards eternal life, in the right. walk towards being a community, a nation, a body. We lost sight of that. And that's right. why we're in these situations today. But, yep. hey, it's a reward for doing wickedness and it's a reward for doing righteousness yes sir absolutely yes indeed and, and so you know we, we just gonna kind of look at it you know from a couple couple of different angles you know the the few scriptures i uh I, i'm gonna kind of go over you know it's just looking at you know how we don't fell away yep from judgment and you know don't even have the understanding on how to judge righteously yep. um according according to god yep. according to his judgment you know not according to uh man's judgment but according to his judgment so we're gonna start off at uh jeremiah 8 and uh we just gonna pick it up at uh verse 6 bro jeremiah 8 and verse 6 when you get there go ahead i hearken and heard but they spake not aright. No man repents him of his wickedness, saying, what have I done? Everyone turned to his course as the horse rushes into the battle. So, you know, this, this Lord is saying, look, he heard, uh, he said, man, no man repented of his wickedness. Yep. Asking, hey, what have I done? Right? Because when you understand what judgment is and righteous judgment then when you're doing things it, it should give you pause yep and you should say man what did i do yep you know you should have some kind of conscience of hey man i don't i don't went off to the left or i don't went i, I don't strayed away from what was right mm -hmm. but he said this ain't happening and he said everyone turned to his course as a horse rushes in the battle but hey man when the horse rushing in the battle man it ain't no <laughs> ain't no thought process you know it's just the horse is just going full speed mm -hmm. um you know into what's what's going to be a lot of bloodshed and death you know and yeah. that's the that's how you are man when you um are not dealing with righteous judgment yeah when you're not considering the judgment yep yeah. That the Lord set up, man. You, you. That's how you are. You just like a horse rushing into the battle. Mm -hmm. You going a hundred miles an hour, running into some man that you really, you don't even know what you got coming. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yea, the stork in the heavens knoweth her appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. So hey, this this is the word of the Lord. Yeah, he said, "My people don't know the judgments of the Lord." Yeah. Uh, but the animals, the 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 the, the, the fowls of the air, the beasts of the earth, they they all know what they supposed to do. Yeah. They all in line with uh, the order that they mm -hmm. that they operate after. Yes, sir. But it's yes, the people of the Lord who don't know his judgments. Yep. And this is why the whole nation went into a tailspin. Yep. Got thrown into captivity. This is why the world, as a result of that, the world is in a tailspin. Because, yep. hey, man, what we dealing with, everybody looking to deal with their own form of judgment. Yep. Uh, ain't nobody really seeking out the judgment of the Lord. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is what it's kind of come to. Yep. Um but we're gonna go to this Romans too, bro. And you yeah. uh, definitely man. It this is this is you know again, man. This is warning to the people that, that they they just fail to kind of understand and pay attention. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no excuses no more. You know what I'm saying? Right. We know what's coming. We know what's coming from the beginning. God right. dealt with us and showed us this thing that it's some it's, whether you, you know, give your all or don't try, or whether you live in righteous or wicked, it's, it's things coming. So we don't have no uh, 
no um room to bail out or say nah we ain't no or right you know try to make excuses last minute and all that stuff he he didn't set this thing here plainly for us to see so this is yeah. what paul finna <laughs> tell these people so right. romans uh two and uh pick it up at verse one and two and we're gonna skip brother therefore thou art inexcusable O man whosoever thou art that judgest mm -hmm. for wherein thou judgest another thou condemnest thyself mm -hmm. for thou that judgest does the same thing yeah and that's the thing too man like i'm not pointing no finger at you saying what you should or shouldn't do and doing contrary to what i'm telling you or contrary to what's righteousness in the book that ain't how we do that we supposed to be dealing with equity and integrity and values and morals and all these things that's going to help us have a clear mind when we come across with like hey bro you shouldn't do that and this is the reason why or hey sis don't do that and this is the reason why but not only that i can't tell you not to do something so, if i'm doing the same do thing yep and, and this is what he's telling them man yep. look you, you look man you condemn me yourself yourself yeah because you're gonna tell somebody not to do something but you're doing the same thing yep same you thing. know what i'm saying so so you you condemning yourself why you why you condemning the other person you condemning you too yep because if yeah. i'm a if i'm a thief and i tell you man man you ain't supposed to be stealing then i'm confessing i'm with my mouth that i know stealing is wrong, wrong. Yep. <laughs> so if i'm stealing yep. then hey man i'm bringing a, a, a greater condemnation on my own head oh yes sir yes but sir. that's but that's what we do yep that, that that's what we do especially those of us who got some some yes. knowledge or understanding Stand. we we forget that hey man it's, it's it's easy to fall fall into some of these little traps, these traps. It, yep. you know your mind can go your mind can 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 go south you know real quick yeah and point the finger we we, right. we big on point the feet right finger right hey we can't do that and th and that's one thing we got to be mindful of man look ain't, ain't none of us Ain't none of us uh super duper super. pristine clean and and, and super yeah. super holy. <laughs> yeah, none of us. You know, so yeah. hey, you know, it's 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 a way that you it's a way that you do things, mm -hmm. you know. And if we're gonna help each other, it's it's a way to do that too. Yes, sir. But most definitely, I can't tell you nothing. If I'm doing the same thing that you doing, I ain't got no place to come tell you what you, you shouldn't do that. Yep. Verse two, though, let me uh, keep going. Yes, sir. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. Uh huh. Skip down to verse nine, brother. Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil mm -hmm. of the of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. Yes, sir. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first. And also to the Gentile, mm -hmm. for there is no respect of persons with God. And see, that's important too, man. If you're gonna get something good, hey, to the Jew first, and then to the Gentile, because God only see good and righteousness and just and unjust. But if you doing wicked, which God see as well, it's gonna come to you to the Jew first and to the Gentile as well, because God. What I love about him so much, he ain't a respected person. Like I say all the time, he's an equal opportunity killer. He right. If you doing things and have behaviors and actions that are contrary to life eternal, it's punishment for him. Right. But if you doing things that's righteous and of God and you walking in them in any nation, any person doing that, man, woman, kid, elder, you got a good reward card. But, but, uh, yeah, and and then too, he said, "Hey, to the Jew first. Yes, sir. And they go both ways. Both ways. To the Jew first. First, yep. Because you know, reward and the punishment. People, people love to be like, hey, man, you know, to the Jew, you know, this, 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 this land and." all this and that but yep. hey man head busting go to the jew first jew first yes sir you go you gonna you gonna get your head sliced before the gentile yes sir 
So it, it, it's going both ways. You see what I'm saying? And that's that's when that that's an extension of that judgment because we know the judgment is, hey man, the ones that do right, they are gonna get that righteous reward. Yeah. The ones that do wicked, they they gonna get that wicked reward. But to the Jew first. Yes. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? So yes, sir. Yes, again, sir. You, you start to go. You start to look at the different levels of judgment. You know, and it's just like when Paul. Uh, was talking about in, in, in Acts when he said, hey, man, you know, certain things God winked at, but now he command every man, man everywhere to, to repent. Win. Yes, sir. That was, that's, that's the judgment of God right there. Hey, man, yes, wink time, wink, <laughs> wink time is over. Yes, sir. It's over. He won't repentance, man. That, 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 that's, that's, what, that's what the true living God is looking for all of us to do. He yep. said every man everywhere. So not just the Jew, not just a stranger but every man he looking for us to repent yeah um and everybody still trying to find a way to get they 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 uh they foolishness winked at yeah yeah that's you know because that, that that's what we do yeah, um yeah that, that's you know we, we we try to we try to find a way to get because we don't want to act right you know how we could get around and uh, find some loopholes and, and the Lord gonna wink at everything that you do that's out the way. But hey, man, he said every man everywhere repent. Yes, sir. And that's all to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and that and that's the judgment that he uh he laid out. Yeah. But uh, let's go to uh Ecclesiastes the third chapter. Um, again, just just uh really, man, I. Read just reading on judgment, man. You you see how important it is, and how the Lord is looking at it, mm -hmm. um, and how He is expecting righteous judgment. Yeah, yeah. Not judging like you walking around being an accuser. Yeah, not that kind of judgment. Yeah. But hey, man, the judgment that's going to uh, bring about, like you said earlier, man, peace yes. between brothers and sisters. Uh, and it's going to bring about some some love, brotherly love, godly love, love harmony yes. between the people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and, and that's, again, that's and the judge. That's the judge. And again, man, think about if we had a judge righteously in the land, the land of milk and honey. Man, the the glory of all land, bro. It this it would have been a utopia, right? But we yeah. get into a, a place where man bias creep in, hate creep in, envy right. creep in, all these things creep in. Now we pervert your judgment, right? And when you yeah. get that perverted judgment, how can you do any job right? And 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 I just even say it now, man. If you're a politician and got perverted judgment. If you are a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher or a person in authority, how can you do a job properly? You can't. Right. We're dealing with stuff that has no gender, no color. It's just righteousness <laughs> and it's wickedness. Right. So that's this supposed to be, this how I know, man, it's supposed to be universal. It was supposed to cover the whole earth. It will right. at one point, but it when right. we look at it now, we're supposed to cover, cover the whole earth because it's universal. Right. It's only one standard for good, one standard for wickedness. Good is yes, obeying sir. God. Wickedness is disobeying. Right. For who whoever you are. For whoever you are. You know what I'm saying? So you know that's that's what that judge that 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 judgment is is founded upon. Yes, know? sir. Uh, yes, sir. It's 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 one law for all. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And and that's the way it goes. Yep. Uh, but let's go to let's uh, uh, let's go to this Ecclesiastes three because uh, again we we looking at why judgment is 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 perverted in 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 the world why it's kind of like thrown to the back burner the judgment of God uh, we don't kind of don't consider it everybody trying to judge according to what they think is right mm -hmm. um, instead of really trying to lean on, hey, what's the judgment of the Most High? Mm -hmm. So read that Ecclesiastes 3 and 16, bro. 
And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. See, and look, this is Solomon saying, look, he looked at for, at the place of judgment, and wickedness was there. Yes, sir. And a place of righteousness, where it's supposed to be righteousness, and iniquity was there. Yeah. But that's what happens. Yep. When you got perverted judgment or you got unjust judgment going on, it's going to spread everywhere. Yeah. And the yes, place sir. where it should be righteousness, you're going to find iniquity in a place where it's supposed to be righteousness because the people done perverted the judgment. They done twisted the judgment. They done made it be according to their own heart. Yep. And not according to the word of God. Yeah, yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? So yes, if I if I could judge according to my heart, my heart gonna change. Uh, you know, depending on the conditions. Yes, sir. You know, your mind gonna change. Yes, sir. So you can't you can't you can't lean on that. Cause we make ourselves just we we could justify ourselves all i mean at, at any moment man we could we can we could try to find a reason for why we did something or why we have to do something a certain way yeah uh, we can all make ourselves be right in our own mind but like you said brother that 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 judgment the judgment of god man is 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 is, is, is universal Yes, sir. You you know what I'm saying. So, but again, man, if you got <laughs> wickedness in the place of judgment, and you got iniquity in the place of righteousness, then you know everything is out of whack. It's all out of out of place. Mm -hmm. It's not what it should be. Yep. And this is how the people forgot about judgment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This 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 is how. Um. Judgment starts to be about what's going to be more uh, beneficial for me or yep. what's going to be more beneficial for my group of people yep. or my party. We're going we gonna to put in judgments and we're going to do things in a way that's going to make it easy on us and harder on somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's all messed up. Yeah. But we're but we going to move on, man. We're going to go to this Proverbs 11. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. And and, and again, here in Proverbs, man, it's 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 just gonna keep, you know, we we're trying to drive a point home. Right. You know saying and, and then driving this point home, we're gonna look at this, man. And you know, man, uh, wickedness and righteousness is some man that we gotta we gotta really pay attention to, man. And uh, yeah. you know, man, and in and, and this judgment of God, man, we, we need to pay attention to it. So definitely, uh, brother uh Proverbs eleven. And uh, if you can, when you get it, brother, verse um, 18 and 19, brother. The wicked worketh for deceitful work. Mm -hmm. But to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. Mm -hmm. As righteousness tendeth to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death. And that's, man, that's straightforward. Right. He said wickedness, the wicked work of a deceitful work. Those right. works that wicked people, man, hey, it's going to lead you to the wages of wickedness, the wages right. of sin, which is death. Yes, sir. It's, and that, it, that's the judgment. That's the judgment. That's right the judgment. Now. You can't you, you can't change the wages, wages of, sin of sin is death. You can't change that's that. That's the judgment of God, man. I don't care what generation. Man. I don't on, care. Bro. I don't care who you are. What your name is, your title, your status, your position in light, your position in 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 what it it don't matter. Yes, the sir. judgment, the judgment that God set down from the beginning. Yeah. Hey, man, you see the example over and over oh. again. Yes, you sir. seen it from Jump Street. Yes, sir. The wages of sin, sin. is death. death. Yep, that's the judgment. That, man, that's it, 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 and to me, that's how we know more and more, man. That God is true. Yes, sir. This word is true. Wickedness is paid with death. Yes, sir. So just like righteousness and justice and equity is paid with life. Yes, sir. 
You know what I'm saying? We just don't see it every day and it ain't the norm, but it's coming. Right. It's, it's going to be the norm. You know right. what I'm saying? But here, man, it says, um, verse 18 says, but to him that sow of righteousness shall be a sure reward. That's your reward? Eternal life. Right. You might not get, you know, that's why the book say don't be weary and well doing because right. you might faint because you don't see it right away or because exactly. it don't come in this convenient time for you. But again, man, I always tell people, man, listen, you laying up treasures in heaven. Right. You laying up stuff in right. heaven, man, that at the appointed time, when it's time for you to make a withdrawal from the bank of God or if it's time for you to get that payment, you're going to get it and it's going to be sure. Can't nobody take it away from it. Right. You're going to enter into the joy of your Lord. So we, right. we see these things and we tend not to, you know, pay it too much of mind. But this is important. Righteousness leads to life right. and wickedness leads to death. And and then even, even talking about their righteous reward, understanding that doing righteousness, walking in righteousness, righteousness. lead to eternal life. Life. Knowing yes, that that's the judgment. judgment, it don't say necessarily that doing righteousness gonna lead you to be rich in this More life. Blessings. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The judgment yes, sir. is it's gonna lead to eternal, eternal life. life. Yes, sir. That's Salvation. the judgment. Yes, sir. Salvation is what he promised you for 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 walking right. for walking right. in righteousness, man. Yes, sir. He ain't promised every last one of us. You was gonna have a Bentley. You, you, a was, gonna, you was gonna have a, a eight bedroom house. Yes, sir. No, the judgment is he said if you do this the right way according to his word, man. In the yes, end, sir. yes, when sir. it's time, when it's time to hand out eternal life, hey, you gonna get it. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. we gotta kind of keep that in mind. And hey, man, it yeah, when you struggling, man, when you when 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 you kind of when you out here hurting man financially or you know things like that man yeah it's it's hard to look past that you know then you start to get weary and well doing because mm -hmm. you 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 figuring okay I'm doing well well I don't I don't necessarily see the results in front of my face yeah. of of doing well but understand that the judgment is you gonna get eternal life yes, for sir. doing well. Yes, sir. Not necessarily all these other things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, 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 and you know and what I'm again, saying, bro, man. Listen, man. Great point because we gotta understand that, right? Because we thinking just because you did good today or yesterday or for a couple of days, it's supposed to be like poof, voila. It don't work like right. that. You know what I'm saying, like, like you, like, like. You did like you saying you doing good. You doing good for a week or something. Now you figure you deserve all these great these great blessings to rain now because you did good for a week. But what? But what about them six weeks you was horrible? What about that? What about that? Twenty years before that. Yeah. Well, what? What about all the stuff you did from the time you was uh uh fourteen to twenty two when you was out there when 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 you was out there wreaking havoc on on the planet. On, on the community, what you on, on your community? Well, you know, worrying your parents to death, man. You know, uh, you know what? What about all of that? See, we don't never want to talk about none of that. Yeah, man. But we got to understand though that the judgment says this. Okay, I can expect eternal life. Yes, sir. These other things is 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 uh is icing on the cake. If I if I just so get a nice car, yes, sir. If if I just so get a get a get a, a house, man, that's, that's that's got six seven bedrooms. Yes, sir. But hey, man, if I don't ever do nothing but be able to to, to get a one bedroom condo, hey, man, the judgment yes, say yes, eternal sir. life, yes, not sir. big not big house necessarily. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so once yes. we understand that, bro, then we can better deal with the. The setbacks and yeah. the obstacles. You and see and what we, I'm saying? And we can run this race with patience. Right. We can run this race not in no marathon mindset. I mean, not in no sprint mindset, but in a marathon mindset. You right. know what I'm saying? That you're going to have to go through obstacle and hurdle. You're going to have to overcome. You're going to have to 
learn how to be a, a, a righteous just servant. You're going to have to learn how to be better every day. And you're going to have to get that wickedness away from us. You're going to have to get that up out of us, man. But truly, yeah. man, uh, hey, man, great point you pointed out with that judgment, bro. Truly. Praise God, brother, in Jesus' name. But yes, sir. yeah, let's uh let's let's move on because um <laughs> I put this in here because this is <laughs> this is how the Lord operate when yeah. you know you refuse to. You know, you just gonna be stiff necked and you just gonna do it your way. Um, you know, he got something for you, yeah. And see, but again, man, knowing the judgment, knowing how this go, yeah, you should expect this when you doing the when you when you operating in, in, in the wrong way, yeah. But see, they thought they was just gonna do whatever, and it was just gonna continue on, like they say, man, ain't no evil gonna come mm -hmm. on us. Yeah, we done made lies our refuge. Yeah, you know, yeah. uh, they 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 simply didn't understand. Like, hey man, you can't you can't hide from somebody. How you gonna hide from the person that see all things? He looking he looking at you, man. He got he got you on on twenty four seven surveillance. <laughs> how you gonna how you gonna hide anything or conceal anything they, from? from Yes, sir. From the one that got you on 24-7 surveillance in your house, out your house, Man. underneath the crawl space, in the garage, Bruh. behind Man. the bleach, behind the bleachers. That's what I'm saying. At the Where stove. you at? <laughs> he, got you on, he got you on 24-7 surveillance. How, how could you possibly bro. think that you hadn't something from him? Bro, that's scary, bro. But we spend all our time trying to hide something from each other. But it ain't no point in me hiding nothing from you, cause you can't do nothing to me. That's what I'm saying. The person who I, the person who I should be trying to try to hide from, I can't. That's what I'm saying, bro. Listen, man, you know me, man. Hey, nobody got no kingdom to put you in or no like a fire to throw you in. Right. So we trying to hide from people, man. Right. To to kind of you know in some ways be had this appearance to them or right. You know, keep peace or be cool or fit in, but man, the person that got man everything in their hand and all power, we can't hide from. Right. I mean, we, man, we can't hide from. I mean, our thoughts, our actions, none of that. He see all that. Yes, sir. Everything, bro. Everything. You know? Yes, sir. Thoughts, like you said, bro. Not just your actions, but your thoughts. thoughts. Come on, bro. Everything. He, Everything he, you know, you 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 are open, you you are open book. He, ain't, ain't nothing he can't see, yeah, uh, in you, and, and none of that. So, but let's 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 go to this Ezekiel twenty and pick it up at verse twenty three. I lift up mine hands unto them also in the wilderness that I would scatter them among the heathen and disperse them throughout the countries. Uh huh. Because they had not executed my judgment. So he first thing now you know who he's talking about. Yeah. He's talking about the people. He talking he's talking about Israel. Yes, sir. In the process of time, that's what happened. They they uh you got scattered throughout all countries. Mm -hmm. But he said, because they had not executed my judgments. Yes, sir. And I think we kind of gloss over this when we read when he's talking about executing his judgments. But he is so many times in this book about executing judgment that it kind of gives you pause, like, man, wait a minute. Yeah. Because it's one thing to put up a front, but it's another thing, man, when you got to execute these judgments that the Lord set up. But he said, look, they, they had not executed my judgments. Go ahead. But had despised my statutes and had polluted my Sabbath. And their eyes were after their father's idols. So, you know, hey, man, just they did everything across the board. Yes. Sir. Op opposite, contrary to what they should have done. They didn't execute the judgments that he set up. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, 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 you know, you could go back. You can go back to the you can go back to the law of Moses and you can read all of these judgments that he set up. But when it was between people. And this is how you handle this situation. Yeah. Right. 
if, if two men fight and one one of them get killed, but it ain't it ain't something that was you know premeditated, premeditated. or whatever. Hey man, it was a certain way you handle that. You know, uh person could go into a like a kind of like a city of refuge. I don't want to misquote nothing, but I'm just using that as an example. There were so many judgments that he had he had instructed them how to deal with each other. Yes, sir. All these different judgments, all these situations that was gonna come up, and this mm -hmm. how you handle the situation. Yes, when sir. This, if this situation come up, if you see your brother's possession out there, if you see his ox out there or yeah. something, yeah, you know it has belonged to him. Hey, man, you weren't supposed to act like you didn't see it. You supposed to get it, and and if you can return return it, or you take care of it till your brother get word that it's it's with you, and you yes, and then they come pick it up. But you were supposed to. Again, you you supposed to take care of it. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. But it's all bro. these judgments. Yes, sir. Bro. But they didn't execute. They ain't execute them. <laughs> yes, sir. All they was trying to do was 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 try to you know get over on their own no brother problem. and sister. Yeah, I'm gonna do me. Yep. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna do me. I'm grown. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you know. Yeah, but you know that's. That, that that's that's the problem yeah and so anyway now he gonna now he gonna put a fix in since you don't want to do his judgments this is what he gonna do to you verse uh 26 uh 25 first brother oh yeah i'm sorry brother verse 25 wherefore i gave them also statues that were not good and judgments whereby they should not live so he said he gave them judgments he gave them statues that wasn't good and he gave them judgments whereby they should not live. So this what you like to do. I'm going to give you some some statues and judgments. Then you start living. You start living in a in a way that's going to lead you down the wrong road, man, bro. You start believing that, OK, this is this the way I'm going to do this. You start setting up all your own little statues and your own little rules, your own little judgments, but it, it ain't leading you to life. And we don't understand because everybody think they smart. You do not know. Hey, you don't want to be on a receiving end of this because now you operating in the, and you and you don't know. Ooh. You don't know he done. He done just gave since since since, since you want to act since, like like the old like like the elders used to say you want to act ugly. Okay, I'm gonna give you something. I'm gonna, here here take these statues and take these judgments right here. Yeah. Now you setting up all this stuff and it's just leading you down the path to death. You don't even know. Yeah. Because you didn't want to execute his judgments. Yeah. And so that's how the Lord operate, man. He he get tired of you. And he, you know, in the book, talk about, you know, sending you strong delusion and all of that. This is all a part of it. Yes, sir. But now he gave them some statues and judgments and it wasn't it wasn't going to help them. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Verse 26. And I polluted them in their own gifts and that they cause and that they cause to pass through the fire all that openeth the womb. That I might make them desolate to the end that they might know that I am the Lord. Listen, he said he did that. He even caused them, he even polluted them and all them little gifts they was, you know, did all that stuff they was dealing with that was straight up uh idolatry and straight up against his judgments. He said, Yeah, I, I polluted them in that. He said that I might make them desolate. Man. So he 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 sending you, he he, he's sending you down the road to be desolate, but he said in the end that they might know that I am the Lord. Man. And that let me know, man, sometimes the Lord would drag you, he would drag you around the corner, down the street, just so at the end you would come to your senses. Yes, sir. Hopefully. Yes, sir. And, and, and understand that, hey, man. Yes, sir. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I got to deal with what thus say the Lord. Yes, sir. And for a lot of us, man, that's what it takes. Yes, sir. Uh, cause if if it ain't no drama with it, you know, we <laughs> we we gonna continue on living how we want to live. Yeah. And that's just the truth, man. Yeah. We ain't gonna we 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 not gonna we not gonna get off of that train until 
you know, the Lord caused the track to the, he bust up the track and the train yeah. fall off the edge of the of the, of the hill. Yeah, to the know, rail. Yeah, got to the rail, man. Other than yeah. that, you know, we we uh we gonna stand firm on what we think is right. But yeah. again, we we read in the book, man, that hey man, it says you don't want to do my judgments, you want to execute my judgments, I'm gonna give you some judgments. <laughs> but it's yeah. it's leading you in the way that you that that's that ain't gonna do you no good. It's gonna yeah. do you harm. To no problem. It's gonna, it's gonna make you desolate, man. Yes, sir. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? So that's man, I, I ain't bro, gonna, scary. I, bro, listen. Scary. I'm, that's I'm, scary, bro. This scary. This 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 scripture right here, man. I'm I'm in shock. This scary, bro. This is extremely scary. This is extremely scary. But again, man, our forefathers, man, was so just I'm gonna do what I want to do, no matter what the Lord say. I see why He gave them this, right. because this is how He had to get your attention. Right. He had, he had to, to send you down a path of nothingness, you know, desolation right. and heartache and pain and suffering. Right. He got to he got to bust you up just so you can stop and consider, bro. And that's what and that, and and that's and that's what happened, man. That's that's usually what happened. Uh, even today, man, once he busts you up, then you start crying. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying. But again, man, it made me question. Like, okay, you out here making these decisions, this, everything seems like, yeah, this is the right thing to do. This is the right thing to do. <laughs> you better ask yourself, it. man, is it <laughs> really? Man, am I? You know, you know, it, do I got? To, I, did, did I get the shake? <laughs> get the shake put on me? You know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah. You gotta consider, man. That's why you know I always say, man. Just you gotta always kind of like be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, definitely. When you when you praying for stuff, but you got your mind made up already. Yeah. You know, doing stuff like that, man. You get the shake put on you. Yeah. You you know you you start thinking, yeah, that that's good, that's right, and then you like, man, this all it's all going downhill, but it seemed like it was the right things to do. You thought your judgment was firm, right? You you might start dealing with people or trusting people that you shouldn't even ever been trusting or dealing with, man. Because now your judgment is flawed. Because maybe you done did something uh, wrong. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you done you you done disregarded right. the judgment of, of, yep. of God, so you could yep. do it your way. Yep. Now your judgment is perverted. Yeah. Now you can't judge with no sound judgment because the Lord got the fix in on you. Yeah. As the elder brother used to say, he put the fix in on you. He got you. Yeah. yeah. You know, so uh, again, man, that that's what happened, bro. When you lose sight of his judgment, he might put, he, he might let you, he, he might give you the judgment that you, that you like, yeah. which ain't going to lead you nowhere. Yeah. The desolation. <laughs> yes, sir. He, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and you walking around thinking that, hey, this this, this all right right here, this is the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, but, but down the road you are gonna realize I done I done I done made an error. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying. Yes, uh, but uh, yeah, let's go this uh this Psalms 28, bro. Yeah, definitely, man. And uh, again, man, this this is this is kind of hey, man, God gonna give you what you. You know, he's gonna give every man what he earned. I'm saying pay yes, they sir. come. You get everybody gonna get paid. Right. <laughs> on payday. And yes, uh, sir. this is definitely, man. This is this when I read this, I'm like, man, you know, God ain't giving out no soft serve ice cream. He giving out some rewards. He ain't giving out no right. <laughs> no cakes and pies. He giving out the reward of your life. And uh this is it, man. Uh I mean, I'm sorry, Psalms 28 and 4, brother. When you get it, go ahead. Give them according to their deeds mm -hmm. and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Mm -hmm. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. And this is what people, again, you said earlier, what they forget. This is what this podcast is about. Don't forget, man, that he's going to give you according to the works of your hands. Right. If you work wickedness, man, and you 
and it just continue to do it and then repent and turn and change, right? You're gonna get paid in a wicked pay. Right. If you work righteousness and endured and didn't faint and kept going forward and gave it your all, you're gonna get that same reward. Yep. And this is this is the foundation of what this Bible is teaching. That if you do good, you're gonna get good. If you do bad, you're gonna get bad. Right. And he got all he got all these judgments, the all these judgments set up. Yep. All ba based upon doing right, right, and then judgments based upon doing unrighteousness. Righteousness. Yes, sir. You and the teacher, the teachers all along this process or this yep. time that we hear in life. Hey right. man, this is a right judgment. This is a good judgment. This is this is for wickedness. This is for righteousness. All that stuff to keep the peace. So we can live in harmony. Right. So we can right. be more like him. So we can be able to uh, teach our children and be an example to the world, be the salt of the earth and be these lights. Right. But man, he, he he got judgment, man, for everybody. And that's what I really like about these scriptures, bro. It's, it's, it's making it relatable to you every place where you at now. If right. you're doing good, man, keep doing good because it's going to blossom into... A righteous judgment. If you're doing wrong, right? Look at yourself, because it's gonna blossom into a wicked reward. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Um, Mateo, bro, let's uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Ecclesiastes the eighth chapter. Yes, sir. Um, and uh, <clears throat> again, man, this is. You know, this is this is the Lord. Yeah. You know, and, and, and this right here, bro, is, is is a is another one of these. It, this is a big statement. Yeah, one uh, hit a quitter. Yeah, these yeah, one hit a quitters, man. You know, uppercut night night, go to sleep. <laughs> night night. You know, <laughs> he got melatonin in his hands. Right. <laughs> it's, it's this one of these, man. And, and and I think, man, it's 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 so many of these in the scriptures, man. But it's these are the ones, man, especially for this podcast and this topic, man. That's that's gonna shake you up, and it's gonna have you start to look at your um, your walk different, man. And uh, yeah, man, one hit a quitter, brother. Yes, yeah, so, uh, Ecclesiastes eight, brother, and uh, read that read that verse eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And see, this is why you got all this unrighteousness going on. This yes, part sir. of the reason. Yeah. Because, hey, man, the sentence might not come right away. Yes, sir. You know, it it it, it might it might take time. You know, mm -hmm. uh, book tell you, man. Uh, you know, you get the you get one who wicked, and and they they keep they go on in their wickedness they prolong their days yeah and then you get somebody who righteous man and and you know they die early yeah taken away so mm -hmm. sentence against evil work ain't coming right away um all the time and see we and then that's how we started to get into uh what we was reading earlier you know now you point the finger Cause now you gonna now you know what God gonna do and when He gonna do it. Do it, yep. God gonna get there. And he gonna do this and that. Man, be quiet. Cause you don't know what the Lord gonna do. Mm -hmm. You don't definitely don't know when He gonna do it. Do it, yeah. You don't know if that person is gonna repent. Yep. You don't know none of that. That's what I'm saying. So we can't get we can't get into trying to figure out. When the Lord gone, when He gonna pass this judgment down? Cause you you see somebody do something wrong or say something wrong, or they do or say something wrong that you might perceive to be wrong. Yep. And now you pointing the finger. Yep. Like you know the judgment of God, but you don't know when it's gonna happen, if at all. Well, yes, because sir. hey, man, it, it, that ain't how it work, man. Work. Every yes. evil work ain't gonna be immediately. The sentence ain't gonna immediately come down on, on that individual. Yes, sir. It's gonna it's gonna take time. But he say, therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is they hey man, it's set it's set in us to do evil. Mm -hmm. 
because we think we getting away. The more wrong we do and you know, don't nothing happen, then you oh okay, you thinking that hey I hey I'm 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 getting away with this. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep doing it. And then you forget about the judgment because you think yeah I got away. Or you think, oh no, nah, man, that ain't true until the time come when that sentence, when it's time for the sentence to when it come full circle. Yes, how sir. the Lord, how the Lord talk about you, man, the time of your visitation. Now, when it's the time of your visitation, you in trouble. Because that judgment going that judgment gonna come down, and this is gonna be what it is gonna be what it is. Yes, sir. But uh, you know, in the meantime, you know, everybody just everybody they hard is set on set on foolishness it's set on wickedness it's set on evil because you don't see the consequences right in front of your face mm -hmm. and like we was talking earlier you know with righteousness you know you're doing right you trying to be uh you trying to be like christ you're trying to do the right thing and you start to get weary because the reward or that it, it's not right in your face Yes, sir. So it starts to wear you down, but just know, and this is how we got to strengthen each other because we all get get in that mode. Yeah, you know yep. what I'm saying. You know we 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 all get in that mode at one time or another, man. You 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 gonna get wore out, but yep. we got to strengthen each other with that, man. Listen, the Lord done set out what you gonna get. He done set the judgment out, man. It might not be right in your face. But you know, eventually, that it's gonna come to pass. Yes, sir. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying. Uh, yes, sir. So, and that's, and, and, yeah, and that's go what ahead, we bro. gotta do, bro, man. Again, yes, man, I, I'm cheerleading people on and cheering for people to win. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's it's again, man. When we see each other doing good, we gotta support each other. Right. We got to try to help each other carry on. You know what I'm saying? Because right. again, man, listen, man, we in the world that righteousness does not reign. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So we got to be here to support each other and help each other, right? And guide each other right. and assist each other in that journey. You right. know what I'm saying? This is something, man, that and that also helps build community as well. You know what I'm saying? When we see people doing good and we gotta support them. We gotta care for them. We gotta to love them and you know help them go forward. You right. know what I'm saying? Because again, man, you can faint out there with doing good. Right. It ain't something that's we gotta reprogram ourselves to say, hey, man, this is the right thing, and we gotta keep going forward. So we right. have to be there to chill each other on. We have to be there to support each other. Again, man, I want everybody to get a. W. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the Lord didn't set this thing up for you to get a W. But the choice is yours. And when I right. see people doing good, man, or trying to do their best and get their best, I'm always there to encourage. I'm always there to support. Because uh, that's what we need. You know what I'm saying? And from that, man, we all find strength. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that this judgment coming. And I don't want to be in a position where I could have helped my brother and sister on both sides, you know what I'm right. saying? You right. know, help them stop wickedness or help them in, or encourage them in righteousness. I right. want to be there to support them. So right. uh, definitely, man. Uh, yeah, we got to be there to chill each other off. Yes, sir. Absolutely, absolutely, bro. Let's let's hit this. Go to this last scripture. Uh, it's John five. Yeah, definitely, man. John five, man. This is just it's it's, it's Jesus, man, and uh, Jesus telling you, man. What 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 authority and power we got, and what he gonna do? So yes, definitely, sir. man, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna even uh try to you know talk too much through it. But John five and twenty two, bro, when you get it, go ahead. For the Father judge of no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son. And that's what people really don't understand. Right, Jesus gonna do all of it. Right, he gonna do all the judgment. The Father committed it to him. This is yes, what you gonna do. You're going to judge. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and I know in a lot of reasons it was given to him because, hey, man, he came down here and was in this flesh. He understands. Right. right. 
He had to restrain himself. He had right. to overcome this flesh as well to be right. accepted of the Father. Yes, so we sir. know what good and evil is in a lot of different, you know, he he he, he had a, a, a deeper connection to it. Right. Wickedness and righteousness, he's seen it every day on this walk toward salvation. Right. Yes, uh, verse, tw verse 27, bro. And have given him authority to execute judgment also. Mm -hmm. Because he is the son of man. Yes, sir. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice mm -hmm. and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. And that's man, that's straightforward, bro. Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's, I mean, that's, 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 that's the judgment. The ones that did good of righteousness. Hey, the resurrection of life. Yeah. For the ones that did evil, the resurrection of damnation. damnation. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that that judgment can't be changed. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? That's that's all to it. And he gave us all these other things that that uh uh extend off of those judgments. Yep. Those two judgments. He gave you all these other things to keep you on the path. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He gave you all these laws, statutes, and, and, and other judgments yep. so that you could so you could get that resurrection, resurrection of life. life. Yep. And if you're doing the opposite, he gave you all these things. Look, don't do these things because you're gonna it's gonna lead you to the resurrection of damnation. Yes, sir. Which, which judgment you want? And yes, sir. uh that's that's just uh the hardcore facts you gonna yeah. get in the end we all gonna get one or the other yeah yes sir yes, and so striving to get the one that leads to life brother me and you all, both you know me and you both man again man it's 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 a process yeah and the goal is to is to improve and do better yes sir you know what i'm saying this is yep. something man that i don't you know the listeners i don't want them to think that we walking this magnified glorified walk we are striving to be better and better service yes, and, to, and to grow closer to our god and to gain life eternal yep the resurrection of life and that's all yes, that's all we striving to do and that's the goal man again man we trying to reprogram ourselves we trying to be better and stronger to help right. each other so we can go towards salvation, man. And uh yeah, man, uh hey, it ain't it ain't easy, but uh right. you know, man, I, I'm uh I'm glad, man, that I'm on this path, brother. Truly it's been a blessing, bro. Yes, sir. Name Jesus, bro. In Jesus name, brother, absolutely. Yes, sir. And uh, you know, with that, we want to thank the listeners for joining us here on the Biblical Resolutions Podcast, which is brought to you by the House of Jacob Bible Study Class located at 2515 East 75th Street in Chicago, Illinois. And as always, we want to bid you peace in the mighty name of Jesus.